Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to teach you all in this video and hopefully inspire you and motivate you on how you can create a life that you truly desire, which a lot of people would call their dream life. And the reason why I'm making this video is because that is something that I've managed to achieve. And I know there's many other people out there that want to as well. A lot of people don't know how to, a lot of people don't believe so, or if they do believe so, normally the people to share it with in their life do not believe in them, which can send someone in the direction of never taking the right consistent actions over a period of time to create the life that they truly desire. So, from my own personal experience and what I've learned from some of the best teachers in the world on this subject that have also managed to create a life that they truly desire and they've helped many other people do that is, yeah, what I would say is different people say different things, but a lot of time you're gonna hear very similar things. So I'm gonna share things that have worked for me based on my own personal experience because that is then more relatable for people and it's more realistic as well and yeah for me to share something isn't from my own personal experience it wouldn't be that good so yeah i've tried and tested certain things certain things work certain things don't first off people need to become aware you can either create what you want or what you don't want and you are doing that every single day whether you are aware of it or not it's as simple as that there is a metaphysical law that we all abide to whether you're aware of it or not and it is known the law of attraction. And we have a conscious mind, which is like these thought processes that we're aware of throughout the day. And then you have the subconscious mind. So it's all of like the programming, conditioning, all of our unresolved traumas, our belief systems and everything that is running all day. So the conscious mind and the subconscious mind is creating things within our life and also stopping us from creating certain things and manifesting certain things as well. So you need to do your best to work on reprogramming certain subconscious beliefs and patterns and negative behaviors to stop you from creating the life that you truly desire. And you also need to take control of your mind a lot more and have a lot more positive thoughts and focus towards what you want rather than what you don't want. The more you focus upon what you want, the more it's gonna come into your life. But if you keep being very negative and pessimistic and a victim, you're just gonna keep manifesting more and more and more of that. And what I say is you can't just sit there and be like one of these law of attraction people that think you could just sit there and meditate all day and take no action and everything's just gonna to come towards you. It doesn't happen as well. You also need to be proactive and do the things in this 3D physical reality to make the things happen. And wow, down there, look at these butterflies in abundance. Aren't they amazing? Ooh. I'm just taking a walk through a trek to a waterfall. It's really, really nice. So that's something to be aware of as well, because there's a lot of people in the spiritual movement that do spirituality 1.0, sit around and think, oh, it's just gonna come to me and do nothing. It's like, it doesn't work at all. So yeah, just work on, like I said, your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, and focus upon what you want as much as you possibly can. And then it brings me on to the second thing, which I just started talking about is you need to take the right steps consistently, create more of a life you desire. So if you have a specific dream job that you want to create for yourself, like I wanted to many years ago, and that is becoming a full-time YouTuber, what did I do? I made videos almost every single day without fail. And I kept going and going and going. And for two years, it wasn't really going anywhere. And then just after that two year period, when I was running another YouTube channel that isn't this one, it then went up through the roof and then I started earning around $2,000 a month from it and I succeeded. But that took me a very long time to get to that point. But I wanted it so bad that I just kept going and going and going. And I would have been doing it whether I was earning money or not. It's something that I was passionate about is my life purpose. So yeah, there was many times I fail, but I get back up and try again and again and again. And I had to just believe and have faith that I could make it become a reality. So yeah consistent hard work, grinding, 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 learning from your mistakes, picking yourself up, trying out different things, seeing what works and what doesn't work. And yeah, just believe that you can make it happen. And there's so many people that have started to create a job that they truly desire, which is part of living your dream life. 
because if you've got everything else that's good in your life but you're in a job that you hate you're not how you're going to have the best life ever and most of your life well a high percentage of it is spent working so why not work a job that you like rather than people that like work in a dead-end job say like in walmart for their whole life or working in a factory packing things being on a conveyor belt like you're dying on the inside you're killing your soul and it's just gonna have a negative effect on your health short term and long term your mental health your connections your whole human experience as a whole and i'm telling you i know from personal experience you used to do things for money you used to earn me a lot of money and man it just used to mess up my mental health so much and it seriously in the end started to really destroy my health and that's when i started on this path of like healing myself back in 2013 and ridding myself of all different health issues and yeah number three and i mentioned that just a minute ago you must have faith you must believe in saying hide yourself whether it's god buddha the creator the universe whatever and just know that whatever you believe in wants you to succeed and as long as you're doing things for the right reasons everything is going to be provided for you exactly at the right time and there sometimes is going to be on your journey with creating your life that you truly desire where it seems you're not really getting to where you want but keep going because you might be at that point where it's going like this for a while and then you can get to that tipping point and a lot of people can give up just before that tipping point where they're really going to start to go more in the direction of what they truly want to create so yeah that's just something that is absolute key and i've always had faith that the universe this is what i believe in wants me to succeed and because i'm doing things for the right reason that's going to help so many people it everything always works out in the end there's times where it's a struggle but if you do what is easy your life will be hard and anyone that wants to make anything to become a reality you must seek discomfort and you must push yourself out of your comfort zone it's as simple as that so yeah and that's why many people will never succeed with creating what they want in their life because they're not willing to be patient they don't have faith they don't just keep going and most people just give up very early on because most people want overnight results and it's just not going to happen for 99.99 percent of people so you need to be realistic number four learn and i mentioned this earlier on i've learned from many different people listen to as many audio books youtube videos read as many books as possible from some of the most successful people in the world that have created their dream life and manifests so many things that they've wanted to within their life so they can live the best life ever so it could be people like tony robbins jim Rohn, elliot hulse yes there's just so many different people different people are going to resonate with you and be more in alignment for you so it's about listening to different ones seeing which ones you like some of the ones that i like are the main ones not the ones that i just listed is actually eric thomas and les brown especially les brown and you also could listen to a lot of other people that are not necessarily like the best entrepreneurs in the world but still very successful entrepreneurs but are people that have just managed to go through very intense things and many challenges in their life that are very inspirational motivational stories that you could listen to that can make you feel inspired and motivated and start to program your mind with how they think about things and it will make you have more of an abundant mindset and more positive mindset and you will learn from them exactly what they've done to get where they are within their life you can try out what they're sharing with you over a period of time see if it works for you if it doesn't then stop doing it if it does work then consistently keep going and remember we become our environment so if you haven't got the right positive abundant mindset people around you that uplift you and help you become a better version of yourself so you can create more of what you want then just listen to these people over and over again create the environment that you need within your mind and within your life and then it's really going to help you come leaps and bounds towards what you want and i tell you most people on a regular basis to so listen to news reading newspapers listening to like tv series watching them on tv and watching all these other things with a very bad poverty mindset language and it just programs people with so much negativity and other things that really just doesn't help you in any way whatsoever a lot of time it's just fear mongering 
or entertainment that's just brainless for you and it just makes you brain dead and it doesn't help you create more of what you want in your life. It just <laughs> fries your brain quite literally. Number five, which can go on from what I just said at the end of number four, is be very, very careful who you spend your time around with. If you're surrounding yourself with pessimistic, negative, fearful people that do not believe in you or themselves and that they're not really going anywhere in life, they're just fumbling about leading a mediocre life with dissatisfaction and unfulfillment in every area of their life, get rid of them. I don't care if you've known them for like 10, 20 years, get rid of them. I'm so selective of who I spend time around with because I will take on what I am around in my environment, everything. Everything I see or hear. So I'm very, very careful and selective who I spend time around. And I'm telling you on my own path of evolution, over the years, which has been going on for years and years and years, there's times where I hang around with certain people, and then there's times where I get to a point in my evolution where it's just not the right people for me to be around. So I start seeing them. And then there might be times where I have to be on my own for quite a while until I find new people. But I'd rather be on my own than be surrounded by the wrong people that bring me down and that don't just have the most positive, uplifting effect on me and my life. And just, yeah, try and find as many other people that are really pushing themselves to their limits and really creating more of what they want. You don't absolutely necessarily have to have people around you that are like this because I've had it on times of my journey where I haven't been able to find the right people for a very long time. So I just listen to the right people for YouTube videos, audio books, reading books and so forth. So like I said earlier on, create your environment if you don't have the right people around you to create the most optimal environment for you to thrive and push yourself to your greatness. Number six, find a big enough why for why you are making the choice to create more of the life that you desire. Because if you've got two people and there's one person that just kind of wants it but doesn't have a big enough reason as to why they should follow through consistently to actually make it happen in comparison to someone that has the biggest burning desire ever and so I'm really really big wise who out of the two people do you think is going to succeed the second person exactly because when the times get challenging and tough and you really want to give in throw in the towel and quit because your reason is big enough or why you want to do it you will still continue to push forward even if you don't want to. And that is whether you want to create more of the dream life that you want or the dream relationship or your dream body or get to optimal health or with anything in life that you want to create within your life. So yeah, that is what separates the successful people from the unsuccessful people. So that is something to always think about and contemplate. And it may take you quite a while to work out what your why is, but you can find it. And that is why I managed to succeed in many areas of life, because I got to a point in my life, back in 2013, where I was miserable. My mental health destroyed my physical health. I was in one of the worst times within my life and places in my life. There's a couple of times I ended up in a hospital and my life almost ended around that time period. And my life couldn't have been any worse. It's literally the worst point in my life. And I was in that for quite a while, for like a couple of years. Then I got to this point, where I got to breaking point. I said, enough is enough. I can't do this. I moved location, got out of a relationship I was in, changed my job, started pursuing my life purpose and passion, which I discovered. Started overcoming all of my addictions and negative habits and so forth. And never looked back. <sighs> so I'm telling you, when you want it that bad, as much as you, I wanted it, it cannot not happen. It is inevitable. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of people that I meet that say they want things, but pff, they don't seem to want it as much as I want it. And that's why I see so many people give up time and time again, and they just keep doing the same things in life and never really truly create more of what they want in their life. And they normally end up just creating more of what they don't want in life, whether they're aware of it or not or whether they want to or not. Number seven, which I talked a little bit about this earlier on, but I'm gonna talk about this in more detail and make it number seven. And that is, you must have patience. And whoa, this is quite <laughs> upright, vertical, and it's actually quite slippery. Man, I'm getting a sweat, I'm just getting a good workout, burning off some additional calories, get that body fat percentage down low all year round. Definitely say that helps with it. Whoa, I almost fell backwards then. 
So yeah, being patient. And I'm gonna give you a really good example of a YouTuber. So, Mr. Beast, if you don't know about him, he's got millions of subscribers, he's one of the biggest growing YouTube channels in the world. And I listened to his story quite a while ago, someone interviewed him, I can't remember who, maybe Logan Paul or someone else, not sure. And basically, he made videos consistently for five years. It was going nowhere, and he was hardly getting any views. He just kept fanning and fanning and fanning. But he kept pursuing it because he loved it that much. And that's the same with me and YouTube. He was gonna be doing it and dedicated his whole life to it because he loved it. It wasn't just trying to chase the paper. And that's what I'm saying, that's something <laughs> that you don't wanna do as well. If you wanna live the best life, you need to make sure whatever career that you're creating within your life, that it's a life, well, a dream job that you're doing, that you'd be doing whether you was earning money or not from it, because you just love to do it. And that you get paid to do it as well, is just an amazing extra benefit. And what he found after five years, his channel all of a sudden started going through the roof. YouTube started recommending a lot of his videos. He tried out different things, certain things that weren't working. He stopped doing the ones that were working. He kept doing them. And now, like, he's one of the biggest earning YouTubers and most successful YouTubers in the world. And that is just one example. But I'm telling you, there is many people that have wanted to create more of what they want with their life, whether it's a dream job, their dream relationship, their dream location. And yeah, it can take you a very, very long time to get there. Years and years and years. Some people can get there faster than others. But... Just be patient. It can take a very long time. But as long as you learn from your mistakes, like I said, you keep picking yourself up, try out different things, do more of what is working and what isn't working. In the end, it will become a reality. So just don't give up. And yeah, most people live in a microwave world. <sighs> don't be living in that microwave world. Not everything's just going to happen overnight. Some people that gain loads of weight, you don't gain weight overnight. You're not going to lose it overnight. That's why yo-yo diets don't work. Same with creating your dream life. At least for almost 100% of people out there. And yeah, pretty much coming to the end of the video. And I can actually hear running water now. I'm not sure if you can hear the running water. There is a tree here. <laughs> Whoa. That I thought, think about walking across, but it looks like it's starting to break. What do you reckon? <laughs> That's a bit wobbly and it's a bit dodgy, especially when I'm standing up here holding the camera. Makes me wobble even more. Man, that running water's amazing. Yeah. If you don't know where I live, I live in Copenhagen, Thailand. One of the best tropical islands in Thailand. See, so yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. I think I should get off of this camera before turning around. Don't wanna fall and injure myself. So yeah, there are my steps is how you can create more of what you want in your life rather than what you don't like. Well, that you don't want even in your life. So yeah, if you like more videos from me like this, let me know down below. Make it for you as possible. If you like the video, like it down below. Give it a thumbs up. Please share this with anyone else that you think needs to hear about these steps that I've taken consistently and many other people that I've learned from to create more of what they want in their life and create what is known as your dream life. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. Man, that water. I love the sound of running water. It makes you want to get in the water as well. So, yeah. I'll have many other videos coming that are inspiring, motivating, informational videos, videos on weight loss, intermittent fasting, showing you what I get up to in my life, what I eat and various other things. Does it sound good to you? Make sure you click the subscribe button down below. And, oh, it's turning around there. <laughs> and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when those new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this walk and this lovely sunshine and nature with an abundance of pure oxygen around. It just makes you feel good for the rest of the day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.